raw Then you drink black gold on the floor Give me get a pan down until I take the show Got a pack of mad dogs growling, howling, shouting Monk secret technique prowling Pull the bass mask down till the sun come up Give me the stick up Said it coming down the street in the holy ghost We be carrying all the ice from the jewelry stores Snakes on the ring, clicking in locks We be picking in the lines, never triggering God's city go to ring Let God on the cameras, ghost God When the power to the block is cut Land as I am, a man is leave your defenses And just repent this chaos and reckless tactics Leave you helpless, we disappear within the dark Quan said I'm a god, you can pay to me I'll be popping up, flexing in the fantasy Don't matter about your gender or your sexuality You can see the Jesus Christ, what's the best to me? I got the whole world up and I'm turning down Something up, every fucking word this Cause the brain thinking I can't keep track of the cash I'm thinking I'm missing my time So all of y'all booking up Smoke scene, we come to the bench just creeping. I follow, we come.
hear me? Okay, so... Uh, yeah. <clears throat> um, I have a small request before we begin today. Can we review my track? Because I don't know if the kick drum... I don't know if it sounds good or if it's too boring or anything. This is a new... This is a new track. <laughs> uh, but it's like a... I'm, so what I'm trying to do is, so I realized I have like almost two hours of techno that I've made. Um, but a lot of it is like this kind of alternative type of stuff. Like it's, you know, it's, uh, it's a bit, um, you know, it's got its own sort of vibe. That's a fucking ugly font. Oh God. Okay. Anyways. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so I'm just trying to make some stuff that's like a little bit more easy to play at parties. Yeah, I want to have some stuff that like, you know, if I'm hanging out with friends that I don't really know that well, and they're like, hey, do you DJ? Then I can be like, yeah, bro, of course I DJ. <laughs> and then just play some shit like this. So it's not very experimental, and I'm, I apologize for that. But uh, yeah, okay, so here it is.
So, what, do we, what did you guys think? Sand dunes. <laughs> okay, so I just need the, okay, uh, it's definitely higher pitch than with the bay. So I think it felt pretty good. good. Kick base combo works. Personal choice for me to low pass the kick. Yeah, I that's yeah, I know I low pass my kicks all the time too, but I feel like it needs a bit of a a lot of that music has like this clicky type type of kick, and I was struggling to make mine kind of sound like that. I actually low passed a kick and then put a kick a separate top on top <laughs> on top of it. Um, Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'll try to fix up the kick. I guess that's the main thing. And it's not too boring or anything. Like, it feels like something you'd want to dance to. If I have a ton of drugs. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, okay, sweet. All right, so let's get to the real track review. I, you know what I want to do? I want to make the background of this black, but I don't know if I know how to do that. Background color. Yeah, I can't change the opacity. I'm annoying. Oh, here it is. RGBA, so background. Uh oh, I broke it. Oh no, there it is. Okay, whatever, fuck it, who cares? All right, <clears throat> on to the real shit. Oh, we got some new people. Okay, Elliot. If you're a patron, please let me know in the email. And don't lie, because I don't have the mental fortitude. Steven, are you a patron? Oh, yeah. Hey, we've, it's been a while since we had any Zenadine. Xenodine for Plurate. Thorn, excellent. Ordity. Aren't you a patron, Ordity? I feel like Ordity's a patron. Okay, Shadow Wanderers first, as usual. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Okay, so whatever, we made a weird order. Oh, I'll put Trivan up here. I feel like Trivan's been wanting to send one in for a while. Okay, here we go.
That was really cool. <clears throat> I re I really like that. That like, it really reminded me of that 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 I mentioned in the chat. Like this, I got the, I went to this really weird party, and and I got really messed up. I don't remember basically anything that happened. But then the next day, I had this CD, and I kind of didn't listen to it for a long time. And then finally, I was I was like, man, I wonder what's on this CD because I had some CDJs, and I was like, man, try this CD. And I put it in, and it was like the fucking coolest down tempo mix. And I don't know what happened to that CD, but. I rinsed the shit out of that. <laughs> like, I just listened to it a million times. And, uh, yeah, lots of really good times. And this really reminded me, especially the latter half, it gets into this kind of more techy down tempo. Like, where is it? I really like this. I kind of, um, I get what you guys are saying about the, the kick and maybe it's just these headphones. Like it doesn't feel overpowered to me, but the fuck do I know? Especially in these later sections, it really, I love that like for the snare. It's really cool. But yeah, what I was saying about the guitar is like, sometimes you can get a really nice thing out of guitar. I, here, I'll show you this thing that I do all the time with, especially with instruments that are really, <clears throat> like, well, maybe it's better to do what you're doing. But oftentimes if I use guitar, I'll do some like weird, um, Oh, this is taking forever to boot up. Anyways, uh, oftentimes if I use guitar or if I use any like easily identifiable instruments, or I used to do this more, but I'll, I'll like make a couple layers of them like pitched up and down and kind of stretched in different ways and then move those around so that you have like the main guitar in the middle and then the other stuff like kind of just because you can get some cool sounds out of pitching them up and down. But then those sounds on their own sound a little bit meh. So that's why I like really like pitching them up and down as layers. I guess you don't have to see that. I just explained the whole thing. Okay, Thorn is next. Oops, you die easily. <laughs>
Yeah, that's really cool. I really like that. Like in the last couple tracks that you sent, you're kind of playing with this idea of of um, <clears throat> cutesy, kind of happy ish type stuff. Although you do that stuff really well, uh, so it doesn't it doesn't really bother me that much. Um, and then with these these weird like glitched out moments, I feel like it's a really nice collage of feelings, right? Like it's sort of like Things are happy and going well. And the stuff you're happy and going well stuff reminds me of like, like things all around you are really pretty, but you're sort of like zoned out about it. You know, like you're like, hmm, there's nice flowers and this, but I don't know. It's, you know what I mean? Like it's like as if you, as if something really horrible happened at home and then you were at an amusement park like two seconds later or something and you're kind of like, this is happy, but I'm still kind of recovering from a moment ago. <laughs> and then, uh, <clears throat> yeah, and then and then we kind of get into this glitched up thing of like your brain ripping apart. Feels like being stoned at an amusement park, amusement park or something. <laughs> but yeah, I like that. <laughs> that was pretty dark, Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> this is a song about being stoned at an amusement park. La, la. This is a song about being a little fucked up at a birthday party. Dope things are okay with you and your dad now. Dad now, dad now. <laughs> Where's that stupid little alert box? There we go. Okay. Good. Uh, yeah, it, it feels like this dissociating happiness. I like that part. <laughs> I'm excited to see that clip <laughs> out of context. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, good. Ordity is next.
<laughs> yeah, word. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I really like that. Um, it, one thing it made me think of is like, I think through this section, it could use a little bit more momentum because it starts to, I think it starts to fade into the background for me a little bit around here. So I think just some sort of, you know, I often think about how you can sort of like push and pull the audience, you know, how you can, um, and, and like what kind of things will push your audience away, what kind of things will bring them in. Um, and I think there's a lot of stuff that we like that, uh, that for us sort of like brings, it feels like something that would bring someone in, but it is it can be kind of alienating. It's like hard to decipher what, like what is what between the person, like between you making the track and your intention with it, and then and then how other people perceive it. But you know you want your intention to come across, right? So I think it's in in this case. I think just one more thing to. A, like a couple more little sounds to help the to have the listener to to let the listener latch on to would would help to give a little bit more propulsion through this through the, not too much right because it's a subtle track and and it, and and I think that's a lot of the beauty of the track is this, the subtleness of it so you know not too much but I think that that would help this section I really like the other parts of it's a really fucking cool track. It's interesting too, like that snare from the beginning. That one. I would have never picked that, but it works so well there. It's fucking cool. The whole, um, yeah, the whole thing is really nice. The mix is really nice too. What are you talking about, Brocco? <clears throat> Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit long, but I think you don't have to change the length of it. Just adding some shit to it would make it would 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 push it forward, like give it a little bit more momentum. But yeah, it's a it is a really fucking sweet. And this kind of stuff is really hard to. Uh, this stuff is really hard to do right. I think. And you're like so close. I, mean, don't, I wouldn't make this shorter. You know, this is probably a great section for this thing that I always do. Is just pick one tonal element and slowly pitch it up. Like one, do, 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 Okay, cool. That's good. That one was really nice. Wait, didn't we already do Trivent? Wait, is this another Trivent track? Oh no, we did, uh, we did Thor. Trivent. Trivent's up now. I do, I do.
Yo, that was really cool. It kind of went by really fast. Right, let's listen to it again. I love those vocals. the liquidy stuff in there. I feel like it's a really good use of that stuff. I'm, I'm not really into liquidy stuff usually, but but I feel like you did, you pulled it off here. Um, I would just say like get more glitchy with it. Quarter time section, per chance. Oh my God, trap, traps a life. He's, oh, you know what, fuck it, I'm fucking banning you. <clears throat> Okay, nice. Um, <laughs> oh, that would be a really interesting shift for this to switch to 7.4. That's cool. Yeah, nice. Um, oh yeah, that would be really interesting to hear what you guys do with 7.4, that would be fun. Cool. <laughs> yeah, you know, give a little, give receive a little. <laughs> he followed me, so I banned him as a norm normal. <laughs> um. Um, but yeah, that was really cool. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of want to hear a slow, I want to hear more glitchy stuff like this because you guys have such sound design chops. Both of you, Thorn and, um, I mean, Thorn, you're super into the glitch stuff now. <laughs> you're in too deep. Um, <laughs> but uh, Trivent, it, it would be really cool to hear you do some, uh, I'm really interested to hear what your take on some glitchy stuff would be. Especially in this sort of like down tempo y realm. I think that'd be cool. Okay, Wireframe Wolves is back.
think for this last section, um, you keep coming back to this like, um, <clears throat> I would come back to that a little less often. You don't, uh, that's sort of like your hook thing, right? You've got like, and then, and then, and then, and then you can just fuck around for a long time. You can come back like every four bars even, and it'll it'll stay as like, it'll still feel like the theme. <clears throat> but I, I, yeah, I don't think you have to come back that often to that sound. <clears throat> um... And yeah, and then the drums in here. Yeah, I think um, Thorne said some great stuff about uh, side chain, and then the drums and drum and bass stuff are usually really. Although I think they're kind of they're tight in there. It's just hard to hear them. <laughs> Yo, Peter, just read the text on the screen. Yeah. Side chain just to sort of like sausage it a bit more. I think that would, um, to, cause like, yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with cry laugh emoji. <laughs> yeah, they sound a bit buried in there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, don't, well, yeah. Uh,. I don't know. I don't fucking know how to make drum and bass, so don't ask me about that. <laughs> All right. Uh... But yeah, and then those, like, the plucky guys could come down a fair bit, I think. Um... Man, it's cool stuff, though. Lots of cool sounds in there. And I hear, like, in here, too, you're fucking around with the drums. <laughs> But since it's so far in the back, it's hard to hear what the, it's hard to hear them, you know. Anyways, <clears throat> cool. That was sweet. Thanks, man. Santa Dean for Plurate. <laughs> Delay and refurb on the sub. Flanger, yeah, fucking, yo, if you don't have Flanger on the master, you just, you don't know what you're doing. Obviously, you're doing it wrong if there's no Flanger on the master. Full wet, by the way. Always full wet. On, I don't know if you guys know this, but when you're using different plugins, the higher the dry wet knob, like the more to the wet side it is, the better your song's gonna sound. Like, real engineers only ever use full wet that's the only real way to make music oh nice good job good job on this snare always full wet full wet crew <laughs> okay here we go oh yeah И на самом деле я не очень хорошо понимаю, что это такое. И о том же понимании, которое есть во мне на данный момент, я это просто расскажу.
Nice. Yeah, uh, actually what Bracco, or uh, what Thorne said kind of made me think of something. I wonder what it would sound like to do this, but instead of those big, um, uh, well, I, this one's less gabbery than, than usual break core, I think, but um, it'd be interesting to, oh, fuck it, now my, why is my voice panned to the side now? <sighs> okay, whatever, um, it is what it is. So, uh, hey, number boy. Um, yeah, I wonder if you did more of a drum bass type bass, but then just had those crazy breaks at the same time. I wonder what it would sound like. <clears throat> um, I think that would be pretty cool. The, my one thought was that I think that the break is really bright in this track. I feel like it doesn't. It w it could be a little, a little dimmer. Because it's it's super. I I found it super super bright. Um, uh, I don't know. Worth a try. That's just my thought about the break. But otherwise, the track is really cool. Um, I really like how it continues. There's a couple moments in here that I kind of wish that you like embellished a little bit more like when you start getting into the the weird rhythm sections or the that long like like kind of <laughs> backwards snare repeating thing um i kind of just want to hear more of that and like to like totally take it apart you know <laughs> um yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of my only thoughts about it. I think the the track is really cool. And obviously for this track, like I think that kick, that that big distorted kick bass thing really works. Um but I'm just curious about what it would be like if you tried to put some like more drum and bassy type bass. Some like neuro bass. No, that's too like flourishy. Man, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, that was a really good track. Thank you for sending that. I'm gonna listen a little bit again to this part. Bunch of new stuff here. Kick. Ooh. All right. Okay. Where are we at here? Okay. We did this one. Downloaded one of those. The one that worked. Send up. Uh, Elena, if you're listening, send a public link next time. It'll make it a lot easier. And please send MP3s instead of waves. Actually, let's listen to that one first. Oh. Cool. 
is tight. Let's turn it up a bit. Yeah, I kind of felt like the kick was maybe a bit high pitched too. There's some weird tuning shit going on when this first kicks in. I was having a really hard time figuring out. I mean, I think it sounds fucking cool, but to me, there was something about. It felt like maybe we did a key change, but then I wasn't sure or what happened. <clears throat> but yeah, and I really like that ARP that comes in later, the like... I wish I could tell what was going on in the low end, or maybe somebody who has their speakers plugged in could tell me if there's like... Does that kick have a big boom like... I feel like, you know what I would maybe do is make the 
make the snare a bit wider, or the snare, like the clap thing. Mm -hmm. Just adding a little bit of width, like I would use the grain delay thing for, for width, and then, but keep it mostly dry, just a little bit extra on the, on the sides to get a bit wider. Uh, I don't know, I think that good, that's an interesting thought, Rocco. <laughs> Just like, again, like this is one of those prime situations for like one element that slowly pitches up or um, or other like small things that like lightly add to the, te uh, lightly add to the tension but not over the top. Yeah, I was kind of waiting for some big change at the end too, to be honest. Yeah, but you know what would be a nice fake out is like a big build and then nothing. <laughs> or just go back to the same thing before. Yeah, or shepherd tone. That could be a nice place to do it. Um, or even just like opening up the filter on that. Something like that. Or another layer on top of that that like kind of slowly builds up. Nothing crazy, but just like a little bit of some something, something. That was really cool. I wish the other song would download because I don't know why it doesn't. <clears throat> okay. Also, actually, you know what? I'm going to email her back and say, <clears throat> Can you send me links on clip next time? It's hard. Okay, that's fine. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Hopefully you watch that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so... One of the people whose names I don't know how to pronounce again. <laughs> I will go quiet for a while. I'm trying to find myself musically. This project holds a lot of meaning for me, so I want to polish it as best I can. I don't know when my next upload will be. I just know that it'll probably be an EP where I present a more refined sound. I'll probably create an alt account to upload anything that doesn't fit this project. If so, I will link it on my profile or edit this message. As for the tracks I have up on them at the moment i will delete them when i release something new so if you like them and want to keep hearing them you can download them they're completely free lastly i want to thank you all for your support it means a lot to me and i hope you like whatever the outcome of this is much love see you soon that's really nice um cool the synths in this are huge so beefy interesting that you say that I thought that your music was really quite polished so it's interesting to hear your perspective on it and that 
you're kind of venturing inwards to kind of develop that. I think that's cool. But yeah, sweet. I'm excited to hear what comes from it. I quite like, um, I like, I really like both kind of sides of it. One of just kind of like pushing out tracks whenever you're done with them. And then the other one of being, uh, you know, uh, waiting and so that people can get they don't hear anything they don't hear anything and then they hear the whole finished thing I think that's really cool um, I'm kind of thinking of doing that with my patreon but I think if I didn't have that then I would sort of pick a group of friends that would be like the ones that get you know the, the really interested friends would be the ones that get the all the updates of like oh you know what are you working on now whatever I would kind of send them each track as I'm working on and then, and that's kind of what I did for a long time before the Patreon thing, um, and even still. And then, like, just save SoundCloud or save Spotify or Apple Music or whatever as like the, the, the sort of like that's where you publish your things, you know. <clears throat> so only final versions go there. Um, but yeah, I, I think like it's it's important to have, uh, it's important to have those two ways of doing your outlet you know they can be I, I think there's nothing wrong with just picking one and doing that but I for me it's nice to have it's it's really nice to have both of them to be able to like I don't know yeah have both sides of that or whatever anyway it's cool I, I wish you lots of good luck for this and on that note I'm gonna take a little break because this fucking jewel thing is not cutting it and um, oh, see you, Thorn. Um, and I'm gonna go have a real cigarette. So be right back. Be right back. Yeah. Um, okay. Let me just put some music on. Let me just put some music on, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah.
trying to do again? Yo, I am back. Perfect timing. <laughs> okay. Um. Good. What are you guys talking about? Government. <laughs> Okay, cool. Nice. All right, we're all here. Everything's good. <clears throat> Cormac. Really fucking dope idea. Dope three idea. Nice. Is Cormac here? All right, Cormac. Hey, nice. Okay, here we go. <laughs> did you read before you sent? I didn't read it before you sent, did you? <laughs> yeah, I think this might be a bit too happy. <laughs> Alright, it's cool though. Nice production. That's how I want to hear this now. Ooh, that's a nice moment. Yeah, I like the production. And that, that swing is really nice. Cool. Nice track. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really fit the channel, but you should send it to another channel because it's fucking cool. <laughs> All right, Meow Mint. Happy but glitch. All right. God damn, there's a lot of fucking happy shit today. <laughs> That was really cool. I'm really curious to hear where that will go because I feel like you, this could be a whole track just like that or it could be the first part of a track, I feel like. Hey, yeah, it's really interesting. The notes and stuff are really cool. <laughs> Yeah, super cool. Oh, it's crazy. <clears throat> Christian Pell. I don't... I 
I just... <laughs> I just don't understand why somebody would send <laughs> such a lame track. <laughs> Hey, yeah. Uh, yeah. Fuck you. The fuck out of my fucking shit, you fucker. <laughs> Read the fucking text. <laughs> <laughs>
This is cool. I feel like, um, <clears throat> personally, one of the things that I really like doing with these kind of tracks, I, li I really, I think the mix is cool. Yeah, like everything is working for me. Um, and in general, I like the tonality of the stuff and some nice little sound design moments in there. What I would say though, one of the things that I really, really like doing with tracks like this, and sort of to a fault, but like, it's fun to do every once in a while, is like, <clears throat> if in, for a, as a way of building tension, try to make those synths like as ugly as possible. Like try to make them as like, you know, like really fucked up sounding. I think that would be a cool like, um, way to take it. Uh, I think also in general you could you, it could stand to build a bit more. But I get your feeling too, like this kind of stuff is a little bit more like kind of roller type, you know, it just goes <clears throat> type of thing. But I, I think a little bit more tension in here would be would be really nice. It's a nice cover too. Cool. I feel like this grain delay type of effect doesn't really fit. Which grain delay? This part? Huh. Yeah, I think that's cool. It does have like a sort of an analog vibe to it though. I think that's kind of why my first thought was like to to expand on this and like to push the synths a bit further, like a little bit more modulation. And especially if if they're it's like a slowly oh in the middle somewhere. Okay, um, I don't remember, but yeah, some slowly changing thing that it'll give it a lot more of this kind of momentum push sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's cool. It's got a really nice, there's like a lot of nice moments in here. It's definitely worth uh, continuing that one for sure. <clears throat> All right. And then, uh, okay. Uh, number boy. All right. I think the halftime worked better for this than the than the drum and bass speed. All even I would say maybe you could do quarter time or le or half of the amount of snares, but still in the same places. Uh, the bass sound is cool though. It it's really gnarly, and this sound is great. All this like. I think you could make those, um, I think you could make the, um, what are they called? The, um, the pads, like the cordy things there. Um, yeah, for sure. I'm not, you know, I'm not the 
my opinion isn't the end all be all. <laughs> but I think those chords that yeah, could be a bit louder. Those those are really nice. And then And then my thought with this part is that the the side chaining feels a bit intense. I think you could make the attack a little tighter on the on the side chain. Although, you know, I'm not very good at side chaining stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. It's cool though. Really cool. Yeah. I feel like one of the things that I like about the first part of this song is it feels like you're really taking your time. And to me, this transition to the drum and bass part seems rushed. So maybe the answer isn't to stay in halftime territory, but just take more time to get to this drum and bass thing and then do a build up and a drop thing and then drop into that. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what the best way of doing that is. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's a nice thought, Brocco. It's... Yeah, drum step is also cool. Um, <clears throat> I had an idea for next week. Uh, how does everybody feel about like, so, because I've just been thinking a little bit how a lot of, a lot of people that I talk to that want like tips for stuff or whatever are um, one of the things that people ask me questions about a lot is like building tension or it's one of the things that I kind of hear people struggling with a fair bit. And so I was wondering if maybe we could do a little challenge of like who can make the most intense build up <laughs> and then we'll do track review like just about build ups next time or we'll just I mean we'll do track review about anything but like you know, to do sort of a challenge thing for track review. Uh, I think that would be really fun to like see who can make the most intense. And it doesn't have to be like a bump, 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 Like, I think the, the, the fun part would be like who can make the most experimental and intense build up. Like, what's the, um, wh what's the most like intense thing you can do to make a build up without like resorting to the bum, 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 ba, da, 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 you know yeah reset rhythm would be a fucking cool one um i'm also thinking about like how can you do a build up without to like without using chords or whatever just doing like a textural build up and like how long can you dra drag drag that on for uh or like you know, what's the biggest range of buildup that you can make, like, from starting with just one, like, beep, beep, into, like, a fucking crazy cacophony or something like that. Um, but, yeah, number boy, you say, I suck so much at buildup, I use silence for tension, LOL. I think uh, <clears throat> um, it would be especially fun for people who have a hard time with, with buildups. And, honestly, the more the more I've been thinking about it lately, the more I feel like, like this, like experimental music, well, just a lot of music in general is really just about transitions. Like so much of it is in the transitions and electronic music, especially, right? Because I mean, you know, the history of electronic music is that it is like, you know, you have a cool pattern and then you just fuck with the pattern and make some different, you know, it kind of moves around and transitions and stuff. It's not so much like this, this verse, chorus, verse, chorus type chunks of, of music. It's a lot about like how one section moves to the next. So could be, could be cool. Um, yeah. If not, I mean, send your normal tracks for next week too. No worries. Um, I think I'm going to call it there because I don't think there's any more tracks. Oh, there's one from Remy. Um, cool. Yeah, let's listen to this and then we'll call it a day for today. Thank you, everybody. Um, it's always good to see y'all. I'm gonna, yeah. Sorry, it's a bit shorter of a stream today, but I, uh, I'm in a cabin out in the woods, so I kind of want to enjoy that. <laughs> All right, take it easy, everybody. This is the last drag.
Wait, didn't we listen to this last time? Oh, is this an update, maybe? So, El Papichulo wanted me to explain the genres a little bit. So, I think that probably the easiest way is with a bit of um, with a bit of examples. So, I think the main like glitchy stuff is sort of the main vibe of of this channel. It's, I think, something like this part here. So that's 
kind of like the glitchy stuff. Um, in terms of deconstructed club, we kind of take a lot of other, a lot of different versions of that. Um, my sort of take on deconstructed club is like something like this, maybe. <laughs> So something like that is kind of like what Deconstructed Club is, sort of. You can get more into the club side. It can be a little bit less experimental. But like since we're all interested in like glitch and IDM stuff, that all kind of that that's kind of a good um, reference point. Um, oh, nice. Thanks, Peter. That's wicked. Uh, yeah. And, and then for Deconstructed Club, also this kind of stuff I'm into, like... Oh no, wait, this is the wrong one. Oh, wait, hold on, where's the one I'm thinking of? Is it this one? No, it's this one. Do this kind of shit too. I was getting. I thought El, Papuch El Papichulo was actually asking. And regardless, I think it's probably a good idea to explain a little bit. Oh, yeah. oh, I see. Yeah, whatever. That I'm. That's fine. <laughs> I'm okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah. So that kind of stuff would kind of fall under, uh, I guess, sort of more deconstructed club IDM. Oh, also, like, th I'm also down with this kind of stuff, like, sort of more ambient, like... Yeah, nice. I got you, El Papuchio, actually. I, I, I kind of... I thought you were down, down with it. Yeah, Sophie's totally deconstructed club, in my opinion, at least. So I'm, yeah, I'm down with more ambient shit like this too. Uh, even down with like shit like shit like this is not really in. I don't know what genre this would be, but like. Yeah, Amnesia Scanner. Yeah, all the like. So I'm down with any of the old styles of IDM, like the kind of the more. You know, if anybody's making like, I mean, you know, if anybody's making Aphexy type stuff or if anybody's making like, you know, Boards of Canada type stuff, I think in general, my hope for this channel is that we kind of push past that and try and figure out new stuff. Like the, the track that Thorn sent in today was a kind of a good example of like, you know, pushing the envelope. Let's see if I can find it. Um, I never remember what Thorn's. Uh, the thing is, wait. This was a this was a cool one too. I think. Yeah. So this totally works for me. Even this is actually another good example. Of, That's super cool. Jesse's track from a while ago. Uh, is it gonna play? Okay, please go away. Uh, Rihanna, not for you today. This, I'm super down with this kind of stuff. I'm trying to find a couple more examples.
up, Papi Chulo, if you haven't heard this kind of stuff before, you're in for some alien time. <laughs> but yeah, this is what we do here, basically. Uh, there's There's been loads of fucking killer, killer tracks in here. Um... Uh, Jack Lyon has had some ones. These, these are kind of more on the dance, dancey side. I don't know if this one is. I feel like this is a little bit, yeah, for sure, Diane Word is kind of, that would be like a good jumping off point is like Diane Word, but like more fucked up than Diane Word. <laughs> um, that, that, that one's sort of like <clears throat> about as dancey as we usually get, I think. Uh, I'm trying to think who else. Sonic Junkie is a good example of like the more chill stuff. Oh, that's a different one. Um... But yeah, there's a, there are all sorts of stuff. <clears throat> oh, uh, Shadow Shadow Wonder has sent tons of ones that that really fit the vibe, especially recently. Wait, what's this sound science one? Uh, but yeah, so just trying to you know be weird. What's this one? Stuff. What was this one again? Oh, yeah, this one's nice. Huh? Yeah, real nerd shit. <laughs> I was trying to explain what we do last night to this this guy that's visiting the cabin, and he was like, "So you're a, a hacker." or like a pen tester, or a speed runner, like 0%, but for music software. <laughs> I was like, yeah, basically that's what we do. <laughs> We're zero percenters for Ableton. <laughs> um, yeah, anyways. All right, y'all, thanks. Thanks to everybody. Uh... Uh, it's, a lot of these are private tracks, so I can't I can't send you the link, but you can listen back to the old streams, like last week's and the week before that. There's lots of really cool shit. Um, but yeah, so have a good week. Hopefully, see you next week. Al Papi Chulo and everybody else. Uh, yeah, Mr. Bill is also a speedrunner, but I wouldn't say that his music would usually fit here. Oh God! Like we did, we did feedback for your track like last week. It's really cool, but you gotta read the. Um, you, you gotta watch the one from last time. We totally went like super in depth on it. There was lots of stuff in the chat too. You should check it out. <clears throat> I just like quick recap. I guess I thought it was really cool. The I think there's some blurring of the what's happening with the sections, and I think a little bit more of a clear line through some of this would help. Uh, the drum and bass section felt a bit awkward. Where did it go? And it's here. This felt a little bit awkward. And then the drums, I think, could have a little bit more body. You could, um... I don't know if I would skip it. I mean, he's my friend, so I'd probably review it. <laughs> but yeah, I think the drums could have a little bit more body. Like you could squish them a bit or like, you know, um, 
you could like brick wall limit them a little bit or something like that. They they feel a little bit too too tight. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, nepotism is. Um, yeah, I guess that's a good point. Maybe I should skip his track if he sends one. I should get him to send a track so I can skip it. <laughs> I know, I mean, remember, I think there was a, a long time ago, some, like, super famous person sent in a track. And by super famous, I mean, like, they had, like, 20,000 listeners or 40,000 listeners on SoundCloud or something like that. And I was... <laughs> I kind of wanted to skip it because it was, like, a... It was, it was just like sort of like a drum and bass track and not even really the type of drum and bass that I like, but I was kind of too shy to do it because I was like, uh-oh, I shouldn't, I don't know if I should do that. But in retrospect, I probably should have skipped that one. <laughs> but everybody else in the chat liked it, so I was kind of like, okay, I guess I'm the weird one. <laughs> That's always, I'm always a weird one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, thanks, everybody. Take care. Um... Just look. I want, I want to check if Musar is maybe streaming because I'd like to raid him. Uh, or maybe he's hosting someone I can stream. Oh, right. Musar creates. Oh, okay. I guess not. What the fuck? Is it just Musar now? Oops. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, is anyone streaming music? Uh, yeah, El Papachio, we all, like, this whole group of people, I think we are, yeah, sort of like the pioneers of this particular sound. Musar makes, I feel like I tried Musar makes. Oh, there it is, yeah, nice. Oh, shit, he's not alive. Is he live? Shit. Um, Musa suggests these streamers. Oh, Wolg. I should. Who's Carter? Let's raid Carter. Fuck it. <clears throat> oh wait, anti negative. Anti negative is 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 going. The oh, fuck, I spelt it wrong, god damn it. Anti negative. That's good. I'm glad that. Yo, don't make fun of Musar's stress, man. That was, uh. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, that's good. But yeah, yeah, that sounded really hard, what he was going through. Anyways, cool. Let's raid anti-negative. See you next week.